Hi everyone, welcome to Stogie Geeks News. This is January 15th, 2016. I'm your host, Paul Asadorian, joined on the lines via Skype by Mr. Will Cooper. Hey Paul, how's it going? It's going fantastic. Nice to have you here to talk about everything that's going on in the cigar industry this week. What do you got for us, Will? Um, you know, it's great because there's a lot of news now coming now that we did all the year in review stuff. It's great to start talking about some new stuff. And um, right out of the gate, Davidoff's got a couple of projects going on. I'll talk about this first one. Um, the Davidoff Nicaragua line is expanding. And coming in the later, uh, I'd say later this quarter, so around the March time frame, they're going to introduce the Davidoff Nicaragua box press. Um, it's going to come in two sizes, a 5x48 and a 6x52. Now, the catch is with this is this appears it's going to be a slightly different blend than the original Davidoff Nicaragua. Um, most significantly, it's going to feature a Oscuro wrapper as opposed to a Rosado wrapper, which is found on the base Nicaragua line. So is the binder and filler the same? Um, that we don't know. They were very high level on the blend, other yeah. than it is an all Nicaraguan blend. Nicaraguan blend, but now with an Oscuro wrapper on it, in a box right. press. In a box press, which is the first under the Davidoff line to actually... Have a box press, right? I can't think of press. any other Davidoff box presses. Yeah, well, I mean, we saw Avo do it this year. Yep. But now under the Davidoff line, this is kind of um, some new news there. That's great. I, You know, every time something like this happens, right, great manufacturer, awesome track record in history, starts doing different things, and their past couple of different things have been really, really successful, and I've enjoyed their cigars. It just makes me look forward to something like this even more. Yeah, you know, I heard some people a little critical about this, saying, why is Davidoff going down this box press route? And I, and I say, why not? And on top of that, I say it's kind of part of their innovation strategy. I think they, they got to do things out of the box, and I think this is a really strong move for them to do this. Absolutely, absolutely. I can't wait to smoke them. Yeah, me too, me too. What else you got, Will? Well, this, one, this one's another one out of Davidoff, and I think this one's going to be right up your alley. Um, the Winston Churchill line, the Davidoff Winston Churchill line is expanding as well. Now, they is are, this just the limited release, or is there other things that are expanding? I heard about the limited release, and I'm very excited about it. Yeah, this is the limited release, um, mm -hmm. and I'd, I'd say just from the way it's branded, it sounds like it's going to be the first of several limited releases. And it's a very small run, correct? It's a 6,000 10-count box run, um, and it's called the Davidoff uh, Winston Churchill Limited Edition 2016 Ranked Tour. And what's the size on that, Will? It's, it's a 6x56 Grand Toro. Nice. And those will come in boxes of 10, correct? They're going to come in 10 bo count boxes. It's a different blend. So it's a Habano Ecuador wrapper Ooh, um, over, over Mexican binder and Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. So I believe it's, I believe the binder and filler are pretty close, but they're using the Habano Ecuador wrapper as opposed to the Ecuadorian Rojisa wrapper, which is what they use on, on the baseline with this. And what's the so, price point on that, Will? I've heard they haven't officially released it, but um, I guess the unofficial reports I'm hearing is around $27. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this release is it's going to have a secondary band on it. Um, and what it's going to have is taking the theme of Rancatura in there, um, it's going to have a lot of those Winston Churchillisms in there. So there's going to be a, a different quote. I think there's going to be like 10 different quotes. So the box will have a cigar, and each cigar will have a, a different quote from Churchill on there. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, so it's kind of going to be one of those if you're, if you're a collect. Sometimes I do like to collect that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it will, I mean, I know the cigar is exactly the same, but that's, that's just how I am as far as that goes. Yeah, save those bands for sure. What else yep, you got, yep. Will? Um, out of Fuente. So Fuente um, quietly shipped the fourth installment of the Unnamed Reserve series. Um, so this this time they've um, gone back to what they did a couple of years ago in that they're releasing two Vitolas, um, a 5 and uh, 34 by 50 Toro and a 5 and a quarter by 48 Robusto. Nice. Back to some traditional sizes, which I think is a, a welcome change from last year's 60 ring release of the unnamed reserve, correct? Yep, it's exactly. So this is what they, they did this in 2013. So apparently they've gone back to this um, this year. It's going to be a um, 
So both fight total is going to come in a single box. So there'll be 10 of the Robusto and 10 in the Toro. And I don't have the pricing available on that one as well. But what did they They normally have gone in the in the I'd say around a fifteen dollar price point. Yeah, they can range depending on where you're located, anywhere between fifteen to seventeen dollars, depending on what year and what size. I think they they varied. I'll certainly be looking for this at my local brick and mortar. Yeah, they should they should be arriving if they've not arrived already. Some of the retailers have already received it. Mm. Excellent. What else is going on in the cigar world, Will? Um, so there's one more release. It's out of Altadas. Um. Have you smoked Pete Johnson's Henry Clay tattoo? I have them, and I have not yet smoked them. I have two of them, and they're on my review list. Okay, they're on mine, too, because I haven't reviewed them either. And as you, I don't know if you're aware, but that was a limited run. Um, that mm-hmm. project was basically a finite project. They sold out of it at IPCPR, um, and the Henry Clay tattoo is going to be done. However, Henry Clay seems like that was a launching pad to revitalize the Henry Clay line. Um, so there is going to be a new uh, Henry Clay coming out. This appears to be more of a regular production. Pete Johnson was not involved with this one. Um, it's called the Henry Clay Stalk Cut. Hmm. And um, it's packaged very similar to how the Henry Clay tattoo was. Um, it features a Connecticut Broadleaf uh, wrapper from a 2012 vintage, a Peloto uh binder from a 2010 vintage and that's dominican and it's got a mix of dominican and nicaraguan fillers from various vintages as well it's going to come in three sizes a 6x46 grand corona a 5x50 robusto and a 6x54 toro 10 count boxes the interesting thing about that's the name stalk cut so are you familiar with probably the most famous stalk cut cigar out there which cigar. would be the uh, Drew Estate, uh, do they call it a, a Liga T52? You are right. Yes, Le- it Liga a- Provada T52. Is that how they, how they called it? That's what, yeah. uh, Liga Provada T52, yeah. yeah. That so was what I it. remember when Drew Estate did an event, and they very vividly described, I think it was Marvin, very vividly describing how they did the stock cut process, um, which that process has been around for a long time. Drew Estate kind of brought it back and made it popular. Yeah, so they're actually um, stock cutting the um, the Connecticut broadleaf wrapper on this one. And That's awesome. I mean, so essentially they cut the whole plant, hang it upside down. All the nutrients goes, you know, back into the leaves. Is the uh, the gist of the stock cutting? So um, it it can produce some very bold flavors, and uh, it really kicks up the strength because that uh, you know I think that nicotine content uh, is a little higher in the stock cut tobacco. Yeah, from what I understand. It's a it's a more costly process to actually do it that way. Yeah, because normally priming. they prime at different times and right. Yes, and then I think there's more tobacco that's kind of waste. I don't want to waste. Yeah, but, but yeah, excess, excess, not excess tobacco. Right, exactly. Right, right. So um, you know, so that's a big that's a big um that's gonna probably be a big boost for Henry Clay this year. It's something to look forward to. Excellent. Is that it for the news? That's it for the news. Excellent. Make sure that if you have an Android device, you check out the new Stogie Geeks apps. You can get the audio or video versions of our app in the Google Play Store. And guess what? It's completely free. You can watch our live show every Thursday evening, 8.30 p.m. by going to stogiegeeks.com forward slash live. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time on Stogie Geeks News.